Have you ever wondered why your compass isn't pointing exactly north like it used to? It turns out Earth's magnetic field is moving and faster than ever before. Let us quickly understand what is Earth's magnetic field. Earth is like a giant magnet deep beneath our feet. In the outer core, molten iron and nickel swirl around. These movements create electric currents and those currents generate Earth's magnetic field. This invisible shield protects us from solar winds, cosmic radiation and charged particles that could otherwise strip away our atmosphere. Without it, life on Earth would be very different. The North Magnetic Pole isn't fixed. For centuries, it drifted slowly, only a few kilometers per year. But since the 1990s, it's been moving faster, from northern Canada towards Siberia at about 55 kilometers per year. That's almost 10 times faster than before. But why? Scientists point to changes in the flow of molten iron in the outer core. The currents aren't uniform, some areas speed up, some slow down, and the magnetic field responds to it. Along with the ship, Earth's magnetic field is weakening in certain regions. For example, the South Atlantic Anomaly, a zone between South America and Southern Africa, has a much weaker magnetic strength than the global average. Satellites flying through it experience glitches, electronics can malfunction, and even astronauts face higher radiation exposure. Does this mean the poles will flip? Yes, but eventually. Earth's magnetic poles reverse every few thousand years. North becomes south and south becomes north. Scientists call this a geomagnetic reversal. The last full rehearsal happened 780,000 years ago, called the Brunus Matyama reversal. Right now, the field is showing signs of instability, but don't panic. A pole reversal takes thousands of years and not days. If that is so, why does this even matter to us? Because the shifting field affects our navigation. Airlines and ships rely on accurate magnetic readings. Our satellites can get affected too. Electronics can fail in weak zones like the South Atlantic anomaly. The northern and southern lights, popularly known as auroras, may change location or intensity. Governments and space agencies constantly monitor the world magnetic model, updating GPS systems and navigation tools every few years to account for the shift. This is a reminder to us that Earth is not as still and stagnant as it seems, and there's far more happening beneath our feet than what meets the eye.